Mayong muntag mga higala. This is Sunstar Light on 11am update. Dili magpadayo ng kasong Parisite ng ipasaka kay Bien Unido Bohol Board Member Rabinio Ray Buniel kung dili makita ang lawas ay ang asawa na si Gisela Buniel. Maokini ang sigon sa abogado ni Ray na si Inocencio de la Serna tungod kay kung wala ang lawas sa maong asawa, it will quote, cast doubt on the criminal cases kontra sa board member. Dugang sad ni De La Serna nga kinahanglan makita ang lawas ni Gisela aron makapadayon sila sa kaso. Sa statement ni Ray sa affidavit, si Ingon nga ang pagpangita sa lawas ni Gisela maghatag o gustisya, dili lang para sa kaniya, lakip na sad, alang sa iyang asawa. Si Gerardo Carillo, ang maong defense lead counsel ni Ingon nga kinahanglan makita ang lawas tungod kay Usakini sa makapamutuod na dunay lawas nga namatay kabahin sa kaso nga parisite. Apan sigo ni Eden Ferrer, police lawyer nga kusog ang ilang ebidensya kontra kay Ray Buniel o andam sila mo kontra sa trial. Dugang sa di Ray nga posible ng tago lang iyang asawa tungod kay daghan kini o gutang. Isip ko sa ka empleyado kitang tanan nga nahan mga puha o taas nga rating sa atong kumpanya tungod kay makatabang kini sa atong promotion, sa atong taas nga sweldo o sa atong well-being. Muna, ania ang lima ka tips on how to become an employee of the month. Number one, take the initiative to solve the problem. To truly stand out from the rest, show how you can be a troubleshooter and a problem solver. If you're working on a project, anticipate delays or problems and form backup plans so that you can still meet the deadline. Look for ways to improve the process flow. And if something goes wrong, don't just go to your boss and complain. Present possible solutions and arm with information so he can make the appropriate decisions. Number two, be a team player. You may be smart, efficient, and productive, but if you can't get along with your co-workers and staff, you won't be able to accomplish your goals. Earn the respect and trust of your colleagues by being open-minded at meetings, giving credit where it's due, and being considerate of people's feelings. You can be firm without being a schmuck, and you will even be more productive when you are surrounded by people who are motivated, empowered and aren't spending their energies complaining about you behind your back. Number three, know the industry. Subscribe to the trade magazines, follow the Twitter or podcast of the industry leaders or experts, and monitor the industry trends and movements of your competitors. Your boss will be impressed by your know-how of the industry, and these interesting tidbits are a great way to start conversations about the business cocktails. Number four, Bring a positive attitude to work. Never let yourself be dragged into office politics and backbiting and steer clear of the typical grousing and complaining that most employees indulge in during lunch breaks. Yes, we understand the temptation to complain about the crazy hours and the low pay, but dwelling on the stress won't make it go away. Instead, focus on your work and when a conversation is starting to look really negative, show your concern but end on a hopeful or positive note. And lastly, expand your skills. Never ever be complacent. You may be good at what you do, but there's always a way to get better and improve your skills or deepen your knowledge. If you feel that you've learned all you can in one area, then use your knowledge of industry trends to see what kind of skills you may need in the future. Naminyo na ang ex-PBB housemate na si Nina Jose kay Bayambang Pangasinan Mayor Cesar Kiambao January this year. According to social media posts, malipayo na si Nina isip first lady sa Bayambang o mausay chairperson sa local women's council sa Maong Lungsod. Si Mayor Kiambao o sa kabilyonaryong negosyante nga mawag tag-iya sa information technology company na Stardcom Corporation. Halos doble ang gap sa ilang edad apan sigo ni Mayor Kiambao sa iyang Facebook post, quote, We love each other so much that no one can break us apart. Si Nina o lahing nakita sa TV5 teleserye ng kidlat niya itong 2013 o kabatch na Kim Chu o Gerald Anderson sa Pinoy Big Brother Teen Edition 1. See you later at Sunstar Light on 6pm update. For more updates, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. I'm Sam Sabiron and this is Sunstar Light On.